The US job site Glassdoor just released their annual report of the highest paying jobs in the US for 2019. The list of 25 jobs included 14 tech jobs. If you are interested in a career in tech, then this video may be useful for you. Let's take a look at the list now. From the list, the top 10 tech jobs pay on average over $100,000 a year, which is not too shabby. Of the 14 tech jobs listed, half of them are management positions. This goes to show that communication and people skills are just as important as technical ability. Glassdoor compiled the data using salary reviews left on their site between July 2018 and June 2019 from US-based employees. The top 10 highest paying tech roles are IT architect positions, with number one on the list being an enterprise architect. Let's take a look at exactly what this job entails. I'll just put it into Google and see what it comes up with. What is an enterprise architect role? The enterprise architect is the senior level of technical architect. The primary role of the enterprise architect is to ensure that the respective business, application, data and technology perspectives are in line with the organization's technology and governance strategies, policies and standards. Wow, that was a bit of a mouthful. From my understanding, an enterprise architect works with business leaders to implement technology solutions across the entire company to make things better, faster and cheaper, thus improving profitability for the company. The role could involve researching and implementing new tools, systems and software to help the organization grow. Let's take a look at what degree you need to be an enterprise architect. Individuals will need a bachelor's degree in information technology or a related field to work as an enterprise architect. I mean that makes sense as with most of the tech jobs on this list you would need a degree in computer science or software engineering to be considered unless you can prove your skills in other ways. I mean Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg were both college dropouts and ended up founding huge tech companies. What is the salary of an enterprise architect? According to indeed.com you can see the average salary can reach up to $200,000 per year in San Francisco. This is a higher average than the glass door findings, but it still shows it is a highly paid profession. Why is it highly paid? Well, because it's a complicated job involving the management of a lot of moving parts. It will need someone with specialist technical knowledge as well as the ability to see the bigger picture and piece all the parts together. Going back to the list, you could say that for all the management positions and they are in demand because there are not enough skilled people to do them. Therefore, if you have the skills and experience, you will be highly paid. Ultimately, we live in a skills-based economy and if your skills help contribute to society, you'll always be employable. Someone will pay you if you make their money. Robots and AI will eventually eliminate millions of jobs, but will also create new jobs, which is why it's important to constantly learn new skills and adapt to emerging technologies. Plus, you need people to manage robots and AI. You can't just let them run wild. Arnold Schwarzenegger isn't around all the time to save us. It will be interesting to see how this list changes over the years. I'll probably do a follow up video next year to see if any new roles are emerging. If you work in one of these jobs, let me know in the comments what you think of your chosen career. Was it hard to get into and are you happy? We'd love to hear from people who are actually doing these roles. Anyway, I learned something new today. Hope you did too. If you found this video interesting, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.